welcome you all so today's topic is wave particle duality uncertainty principle so in this we will discuss more about the particle and wave nature of light and how does we can explain it and what about the uncertainty principle so here if you see the overview of the topic here we will discuss like evidence for wave nature of light and evidence for particle nature of light and then we will come to discuss the main topic of the day wave particle duality and uncertainty principle so here evidence for wave nature of light there are certain uh, explanation is for that and also there is also some evidences is for particle nature of light so here before going to so from here like the example it has been seen from here that in case of like a yellow pencil so how does it looks like yellow because here because something is due to the light so how can it can be explained there are the greek scientists plato and pythagoras they had said that because they, these both are the philosopher great philosopher so they explain the light is or any object which is looks like with any color is due to the light which is impacts on the objects and on the eyes but this theory was later on alhanaj they also explain that the light is having only the color which is being reflected by the object is looked like either that is with having certain color so you all know there are few objects which emit the light here like sun and in case of bulb that is bulb so if you see here in this the pencil looks like because yellow because the light which is uh, after coming through the that particular objects to the eyes that is looks like that so there is the light could be having a particular kind of nature but in isaac newtons they said these are having a tiny particles or uh, which is he called as corpuscles and these corpuscles is being he explained with the help of the experiment refraction so in case of refraction that theory was not find suitable in many other experiments so in the later stage when the same experiment was seen in case of two beams if it is passing from two different area if it is having a particle like nature then there should be a collision or there should be like suppose beam a and beam b so they should collide to each other but this doesn't happen so this fails that the wave or light is having particle kind of nature now in case of uh, once you see due to the interference experiment so this uh, shows that they occupy the spatial space among them like in a vibrations once you are putting it uh, uh, suppose a hard objects on the water so there will be various kind of waves will be generated so now again the if you see uh, there is number of other phenomenon in which they behaves like a waves so here in a 20th centuries there are many more scientists they had the uh, experimental study and they find that they are having the discrete energy levels and those discrete energy level they had said it is in a form of quanta or energy packet so again it supports the particle nature of light but once you see the interference experiment that shows the wave like nature of wave so it is very difficult to say the again the question whether the light is having particle kind of nature or wave kind of nature so it is you know this depends upon the various type of phenomenon 
which is being explained either due to the particle nature of that particular uh, light and also with the help of wave nature of light so this is by this way this can be said that the light is having dual nature so now come to the evidences for wave nature of light there are the different experiment like diffraction and interference and once you are talking about the evidence for particle nature of light so in this case there are the example for this is photoelectric effect and Compton effect so since light exhibit diffraction and interference phenomenon that are only ex, uh, playable in terms of wave properties so these two evidences shows the light is having wave like nature and electric effects and Compton effects they uh, support the evidence for particle nature of light so light is always detected as a packets like photons if you look we knew half a photon a number of photons proportional to the energy density uh, with respect to that so here if you see uh, evidences for photoelectric effect or Compton effect so photoelectric effects you know occur in bound electron while Compton effects occurs in free electron in photoelectron effect the photo and hence the energy of the photon is absorbed by electron while in Compton effect photon is scattered so by this way there are different example for explaining the evidence of particle nature of light as well as the wave nature of light so since there are different evidences for that that's why this is known as dual characteristics behavior for that so if you see wave like of nature then again you can see uh, we already see here uh, there is a, like a fringe and maxima so here if as you know the diffraction is the result of light propagation from a distinct part of the same wave front while interference is the result of the interaction of light coming from two separate wave fronts like here there are uh, you know fringes and maxima so if it is coming from the different or separate wave front the width of the fringe fringes in case of difference uh, diffraction is not equal while the fringes width in case of interference is equal so in case of fringes uh, in case of uh, interference these fringes will be equal but in case of diffraction this will be different so these are the space which you are looking and these are the maxima from this image you can see it in a very easy way so now uh, the, it is in a very simplified way light comes in a discrete unit which is generally called uh, energy packet or you know photon so with particle property energy and momentum having both that are related to the wave like properties of uh, and frequency and wavelength so in 1923 de broglie postulated that ordinary matter can have wave like properties with the wavelength lambda related to momentum in the same way as for light so here you all might be aware of that the de broglie relations or de broglie relationship once you uh, see here so this is lambda equal to h upon p so this lambda represents de broglie wavelength so here uh, you all know because this is the planck's constant and this is the momentum and once if you simplify this this can be mass into uh, you know all know equal to mb velocity so here if you see the relations among them show this can be further extended so einstein uh, in 1920 uh, 1905 he uh, suggested that light has a dual character as we have uh, wave and also as a particles so as we already seen from the previous and the earlier uh, the philosopher as well as their philosophy 
and as per uh, far as the scientists those who done did number of uh, different kind of experiment which relates with the wave like as well as the particle nature of the light so the french physicist louis de broglie in 1892 or 1987 he proposed that matter also has a dual character as wave and as a particle the de broglie was awarded uh, 19 in 1929 a nobel prize in physics so due to because he had uh, gives the more reliable explanation or you know the experimental results for to explain the wave and particle nature of light in bohr theory electron is treated as a particle but de broglie theory suggested that matter and therefore electron also has a dual nature or dual character here the meaning dual as we already discussed particle as well as wave like of nature so both has a material particle and wave he derived an expression for calculating the wavelength from his expression you will be able to calculate how to calculate the wavelength so for of a particle of mass m moving with velocity u according to which lambda equal to h upon m u so if you see again you can simplify it the de broglie equation can be easily derived by using the einstein mass energy relationship so this is a very simple equation which you all might be aware of that since energy is having with respect to mass and velocity of light so there is a relation equal to mc square so here equating this energy equation with the energy of a photon associated with frequency we have h nu equal to mc square so nu equal to c upon lambda these all are very basic terms and very basic relationships so all students might know this so these relationship once you will correlate these relationship just incorporate and manipulate here so you will see hc upon lambda will be mc square so if you see the lambda so the final form which it will becomes like here from c to c this will be uh, nullified this will be uh, replaced so here lambda will be h upon mc so replacing this c by the velocity of electron or, or you can represent it like u so we will have a relationship lambda equal to h upon mu so this is in very simplest form lambda equal to h upon p and this p is represents the linear momentum of the particles so this is an a very important relationship which has been given uh, so this equation helps to calculate the you know wavelength so de broglie for this uh, job or for this work he was awarded the nobel prize also to explain the wave and particle nature of light so uh, he, you know that is uh, having a very great relevance for explaining many more uh, you know uh, characteristics properties by different matters and different uh, you know uh, like waves and all uh, is helpful to ascertain their characteristics feature so now coming to the another uh, you know another topics uh, under this lecture heisenberg uncertainty principle so all you might have uh, be aware of this uh, during your undergraduate uh, because this is uh, also uh, being uh, studied there also so here uh, you can see uh, the heisenberg uncertainty principle Uh, this is like as the name is uh, saying uncertainty so it means there is what type of uh, uncertainty we are talking like so here like position and momentum so what is this we will go in detail so use light with short wavelength accurate measurement of position but not momentum means there is uncertainty to find out uh, exactly the position and momentum Uh, so that is why this is 
called uncertainty principle so with light in case of light with short wavelength so accurate measurement of position uh, can be possible but you cannot measure the momentum or t which is represented by the t in case of uncertainty in uh, momentum so this is a small uh, you know delta p and delta x uh, represent the change uh, in us uncertainty uh, in terms of if you are talking x that is represented here is position and this p is uh, momentum and h is as usual this is in a constant uh, planck's constant so in another con uh, condition huge light with long wavelength when you will use the light uh, in short wavelength then you can calculate or you can accurate the uh, measurement of position correctly but not the momentum but at a longer wavelength uh, you can uh, check once uh, you can find out accurate measurement of momentum but not the position so this is the uncertainty with respect to the one uh, particular parameter so the more accurately uh, you know the position uh, the small uh, that is represented like delta x is very small uh, accurately the more accurately you know the position uh, the less accurately you know the momentum uh, and vice versa means at once if suppose you can measure this uh, particular parameters accurately uh, but uh, in that case uh, but if you change the light is having the longer wavelength region then you cannot be uh, accurately you can measure the position of that so this is uh, having uncertainty uh, you know uh, in either position or momentum with respect to the wavelength of light uh, this is vice versa in case of uh, either uh, position or either in momentum so that is why this is uh, is named as uncertainty uh, principle or uncertain uh, you know or the measurement can uh, is there so the it is impossible to know both the position and momentum exactly so it means in a wave or like in a light wave uh, there is very difficult to uh, to measure the both either position and momentum exactly at the same time uh, so here uh, delta x will be zero uh, suppose that is and delta p which is momentum is zero here the uncertainties delta x and delta p are inherent uh, in the physical world and to do with uh, not with the scale of the observer and h is very small you know it is the power of 10 raised to the power minus 34 so these uncertainty are not observable in everyday uh, life so now you all know this is the very simplest uh, relationship with respect to energy and time so we have to replace like here that uh, position and momentum terms with uh, uh, energy and uh, time uh, so this is having h upon 4 pi relation so the more accurately we know the energy of a body the less accurately we know how long it pauses that in uh, energy it means once if suppose accurately you will be able to measure the energy but same time you will be less accurately you will be able to find out the time how much that energy is possessed by that particular wave if you are discussing about uh, to explain that so similarly this will be the vice versa if the energy can be known with perfect precision uh, uh, then uh, only if the measurement is made over an infinite period of time so this is also you know uh, there is an uncertainty uh, in terms of both the parameters so that is why in terms of energy and time this is also called uh, uh, heisenberg uncertainty principle so you all know there is simple uh, you know there are examples uh, uh, which is uh, like uh, suppose uh, there is in some of the example calculate the de Broglie wavelength because from the above what we had discussed so far on the basis of that uh, there are uh, number of problems which is related to the uh, direct relationship among the 
you know uh, the uh, you know there is la lambda like deep Broglie equation you know that is h upon mu so here you know in joule second you all might be aware of that the Planck's constant here the mass uh, if suppose it is like asked for the electron so the mass of electron you know that is uh, approx 9.12 into 10 is to the power minus 31 kilogram and uh, velocity uh, you know you has been given here moving with particular velocity is being given uh, so that you have to put on this equation so finally you will get the answer lambda uh, in a meter and you can convert it in in centimeter and other units as uh, per the requirement so here the similar way if you want to check uh, the you know heisenberg uncertainty principle so there is one more example for that as well uh, so like in a cricket ball uh, which is having the weight uh, like 100 gram is to be located with 0.1 angstrom so what is the uncertainty it is velocity and you have to comment on this so here uh, you also know this is like position and momentum relationship uh, as per the heisenberg uncertainty uh, principle uh, so you have to use the uncertainty principles uh, heisenberg uncertainty principle and uh, then you have to put the value which is uh, given here and you have to keep in mind if you are converting the unit because that conversion is very important so here the grams you have to convert into the kilogram and then uh, your readings uh, you have to put the joule per second your value with respect to uh, Planck's constant uh, so the major points which has to be kept in mind once you are calculating such kind of problems because these numerical problems is quite easy but the only uh, the mistakes which has been generally uh, seen uh, is uh, to the unit conversion uh, so this is uh, a, to be kept in mind once you are converting certain values uh, so you all need to change the particular unit and then to calculate and finally once you will calculate it, your answer will be quite uh, you know, correct uh, answer you will do uh, so uh, uh, in here so uh, you know that there is some uncertainty and the uh, comparing this value with the typical velocity of the cricket ball we find that this uncertainty velocity is very negligible because this is uh, the uh, you know uncertainty in velocity because you are calculating this so what is the comment on your result means what you expect from uh, by the answering this question so actually this is the uncertainty which is uh, like in 10 raised to the power minus 22 meter per second so obviously this is a very very negligible uh, value so this is having very negligible uncertainty in their velocity uh, so uh, you know as per the uncertainty principle so this can be uh, calculated with the help of uh, Heisenberg uncertainty principle so by this way however there is uncertainty but uh, this is quite negligible so by this type of question there are many more problems which uh, you all needs to practice and uh, to solve so from the overall discussion we uh, discuss about uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, wave particle duality and uncertainty principle so in wave particle duality we had seen that uh, the light is having both the properties uh, like wave and uh, particle uh, nature uh, so that was also we had seen from the various uh, experimental study was carried out by various scientists uh, like uh, the Isaac Newton uh, he has said the light is having you know uh, particle kind of nature and those small uh, particles uh, he said that, uh, that them like corpuscles uh, but that was not uh, uh, fit all the you know uh, nature like interference and photoelectric effects you know inter diffraction uh, so these uh, you know phenomenon was not explained by the particle kind of nature of the light so 
uh, the further they are having some you know wave kind of nature uh, like in case of uh, diffraction and interference uh, so further uh, many experiment which explain the wave kind of nature of the light so this is uh, quite uh, you know uh, uncertain or it is uh, to say whether the light is having particle kind of nature or light uh, is having either wave kind of nature so that is uh, the basis for duality of the principle of duality uh, because the dual nature of light because of some of the uh, you know some of the explanation which uh, helps to due to the particle nature of light and some is so in the latter state in 20th century uh, the many more scientists uh, they had extended the work uh, and they said the light is having a you know uh, in a form of quanta which is they had called energy packets comes in a form of energy packets or light emits in a form of either absorbed or emits from the object is in the form of uh, energy packets so those energy packets were uh, in a after the Planck's theory if you know uh, those uh, is called as uh, in the form of H nu uh, so that is a quanta and that is uh, having you know uh, various uh, forms uh, which is depends upon the matter to matter and they released either absorbed or either emit in a form of quanta and also we discuss about the uncertainty principle because uh, we cannot uh, you know uh, as, as ascertain the position or the momentum or in terms of energy and time uh, with accurately because there is always certain uncertainty is there it means if suppose you are able to uh, find out uh, accurately the position but at the same time there will be certain kind of uncertainty in the uh, their momentum uh, so similarly in case of energy and time so we also discussed that some of the examples we also uh, uh, seen here uh, about the Broglie, de Broglie and Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Uh, so this all uh, we had done how can uh, these equation can be helpful to, uh, to calculate the small uh, problems and to see the uncertainty in case of uh, the uh, numerical problems. Uh, so how can we uh, calculate them so here out of the overall study or overall conclusion uh, today's discussion or in this lecture we study to be learn uh, how the uh, wave particle duality can be explained how we can explain the uncertainty principle and how uh, these principle uh, can be helpful to calculate the uh, problems if we had certain values so here the major question which is uh, being formed or which can be asked like explain the wave particle duality with suitable justification uh, discuss the heisenberg uncertainty principle and the associated experiment uh, you can justify your answer uh, and uh, here uh, you can give uh, one or more examples as we discuss and apart from that uh, you can take many more examples related to uh, which explain the particle nature and uh, which uh, ex examples which explain the wave nature of uh, light uh, similarly you can uh, see with the help of example you can explain the uncertainty principle by assuming some data and then you can see like in case of the example we discuss here so many more example is uh, there by which uh, you can uh, see uh, and then uh, here there are number of uh, references reference materials reference books from where you can uh, see uh, to get more information about uh, such kind of experiments and their theories uh, in more details uh, you can refer the many books is there uh, so textbook as well as uh, reference book you can see so uh, overall uh, discussion uh, you can 
uh, refer uh, you know uh, textbook even you can refer you will get many more idea on the subjects uh, in more depth knowledge so all uh, is uh, i i i thanks for all uh, watching this video and listening this uh, video lecture thank you so much